<clears throat> Yo, what is up, YouTube man? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as we are at Oriole Park, Camion Orioles Park. I thought it was called Camion Yards or something, but I guess it's not. But what is up, guys, man? <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday as Austin Hayes takes the field. And uh, they're showing his 2023 stats right there. But we don't care about him. We care about the opposing pitcher, Kyle Gibson. Man, this is his 20th start. 4-7 and seven on the year. 3.48 ERA, 113 and two-thirds innings, 114 hits, 31 walks. And 69 strikeouts, man. I am uh, still sick, obviously, if you guys can't hear. And uh, it's been absolutely, like, <clears throat> it just absolutely sucks as David Peralta will lead this game off. Hitting 296, 14 bombs, 27 ribbies, leading it off for the Dodgers tonight. Because he's playing right field instead of Mookie Betts. Betts has a day off today as we start this game and start this week off on this beautiful Monday night here <coughs> in Baltimore. As uh, the Orioles come out in their City Connect uniform, 1-1 one one to David Peralta. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um... Two and one. Uh, the defense alignment, a lot of the alignments tonight and the way the defense is shaped up is pretty awkward. Um, that's foul two and two. Nolan Arenado is making a start at shortstop tonight. Willie Adamas needed the day off. Uh, I kind of knew playing him yesterday, he would need one today. So hopefully he could play the next two games in this series before we get an off day as a team. Because I know Nolan needs a day off as well as that's a strikeout one away here in the top half of the first good pitch from Kyle Gibson with that sinker. <clears throat> Alright, ball one to James Altman. Sorry about that. I was applying some chapstick. My lips are like shoot, like they're on fire. They're so dry. I've been drinking a lot of water, but <clears throat> the chapstick is just the helper to kind of make the burn go away at the moment when your lips are super dry. But anyway, yeah, Nolan Arenado is making a start at shortstop tonight because really Adamas says this is him, the left center field. Don't cut her right down the middle for James Alman. And uh, that might be a triple for Alman. He's rounding second, and he's going to put on the brakes. Throw back to second. We'll be on time. Two away here <clears throat> in the top half of the first. Now that will bring up Freddie Freeman hitting 306. Uh, just a bad miscue right there from Outman running the bases. Um, didn't think we'd uh, make a bad cue, but that left center fence is kind of awkward here in Baltimore. But that will end the inning, and Kyle Gibson will face the minimum. All right, today's starting pitcher for the Dodgers, it's Dustin May. This is his 14th start. He's 9-1. A 2.10 ERA, 81 and one-thirds innings, 50 hits given up, 6 walks, 106 strikeouts on the year. And uh, Adam Frazier will lead it off, hitting 251. No home runs on the year, but 17 RBIs for the second baseman of the Orioles. First pitch from Dustin May will be a cutter. Muncy playing third tonight. We will not get there. Muncy played first yesterday in New York. And now he gets to... Uh, Play third base here tonight. <clears throat> One, two. Kind of a weird defense. Like I said, Nolan at short. Just for tonight, first start there all year. It was either start Nolan at short or make Mookie Betts play another game at short and have a, another game where <clears throat> tomorrow he'd need off with Nolan and some more star power. So with Betts, you know, having tomorrow I and mean, today off. And then uh, Nolan probably having tomorrow off. It just kind of works perfectly to have star power or some, you know, decent names or better names in the lineup tomorrow instead of, you know, instead of today. 0-2 to Jackson Holiday. This is a 1.20, no, 1.25 ERA. The cutter got him two away here in the bottom half of the first. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Dustin. Now that'll bring up Cedric Mullins hitting 257. <clears throat> First pitch to the center fielder, high ball one. Cedric 
Uh, used to be a switch hitter, only hits lefty now. Um, fun fact. One and one. All right. Found out that hitting lefty is a lot better for him than hitting righty. And I, and I think he's a switch. He used to be a switch hitter. <clears throat> I do know that, but he only hits lefty in real life. So I wonder if it's like that in the video game or if he's still a switch hitter. The one-two slurve fouled off. The one-two cutter. Been relying on the cutter a lot here in this inning. And that will be a strikeout to end the first. That's going to hit him, though. But it'll be a strikeout anyway in Dustin May. We'll strike out the side. All right, Max Muncy will lead off the top of the second, hitting 307. Yesterday's hero in the top half of the ninth. If you missed yesterday's game, it was a good one, and we ended up beating the Mets thanks to this man, Max Muncy, who uh, hit his 33rd home run of the year and got the Dodgers the lead in the top of the ninth with two outs yesterday. It was that. Absolutely amazing game yesterday in New York. and It was a tough one, competitive one. <clears throat> Just got a little frustrated with Muncie yesterday, and it ended up working out for us. After I kind of talked a little smack, the 2-1 hit into right center field for a single to lead off the top of the second. <clears throat> All right, that'll bring up Nolan Arenado hitting 287. Throw over, and Muncie will get back. <clears throat> Probably having a good chat with O'Haran over there talking about how he plays third and first MDHs for the Dodgers. <clears throat> I'll bring up tonight's shortstop, obviously, for Dodgers and Nolan Arenado. I don't know if he has any career starts there, so it could be his first career start there in the majors. Quickly 0-2 after that, well... That's a strike to make it 0-2 after he fouled off the first pitch. 2 from Gibson to Arenado will be low. 1-2. and two. Good pitch. But I think a better take right there from Arenado. <clears throat> I wanted to swing at it too. 1-2 to two from Gibson. 2-2. Two two. Sinker low. 2-2. A pitch from Gibson. Three and two. Full count and Miguel Vargas is on deck. <clears throat> Three, two. Muncie will be off and running. Throw over and Muncie will get back safely. You don't expect Muncie to run, so when he does, <clears throat> you know, I feel like he gets second pretty much every time. I think he has all season so far. The 3 2. There goes Muncie. Swung on and this throw down will be on time. No, it won't. And a stolen base for Max Muncy. But Gibson will record him out with a strikeout. Max, if that's a better throw, Max is hosed. <clears throat> now that will bring up Miguel Vargas hitting 294. First pitch from Gibson will be fouled 0-1. Vargas will probably get a day off tomorrow as well. So I'm assuming Max Muncy will be in the spot for second base tomorrow. The 0-1, 1-1. Could be Chris Taylor as well as CT3 gets the night off. Jason Hayward is out there and left tonight. The 1-1 one -one from Kyle Gibson. 2-1-1. Man, Vargas, ever since June, has been probably one of the hottest hitters on the team, if not the hottest. 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two two. Good cutter. But swings like that is <clears throat> what made him not be good this season. So you got to relax a little bit with Vargas. 2-2 two, two from Gibson. Muncie has second to pitch. Did he go? I think he did. Yep, two away here in the top half of the second. Not a good at-bat for Vargas. And now that'll bring up Will Smith hitting 347. <clears throat> First pitch to the Dodgers catcher. Will be inside ball one. <clears throat> Had yesterday off did Will. Back in the lineup today. After Austin, after Austin Barnes caught the last game in New York. So, a well-rested off day yesterday for Will. To probably play two out of three here in Baltimore. As this is hammered to left. And that ball will be caught to end the top half of the second. And it sounded good. I thought it was gone. <coughs> 
All right, Anthony Santander will lead off the bottom of the second, hitting 218. Seven bombs and 31 RBIs on the year. First pitch to the lefty will be a cutter. Hammered into right center field, and Outman will give it a look, but it's gone, and the Orioles are up by one here in the bottom half of the second. <clears throat> Eighth home run of the year for Al Sandy Alcantara, and what a swing, just a terrible cutter. All right, down the middle, and now that'll bring up Adley Rutschman, and 227. First pitch fastball from May. Strike one. <clears throat> the 0 1 cutter. I mean, the 0 1 sinker, excuse me. 1 and 1. Rutschman, a 2023 All Star. As the American League beat the NL this year. 1 2 sinker. Hit. Arenado, first play at short, will make it look routine. One away here in the bottom half of the second. <clears throat> now they'll bring up Roman Arias. Or Rom or, yeah, I'm going to say Roman or Romo Arias. 0-1. Oh, Not too sure, though. I will say that is one thing that is tough when the announcers ain't talking and you can't pronounce the people's names. <clears throat> Two away here in the bottom half of the second, though. And now they'll bring up Austin Hayes in 291. Hitting pretty low in the lineup, but has been doing damage as this is hammered to left. Hayward will get there to end the second, but the Orioles do take the lead. Man, their outfield's constructed so odd. All right, J.D. Martinez will lead off the top of the third, hitting 368 bombs, 21 ribbies. DHing in today's ball game for the Dodgers. First pitch from Gibson will be fouled, 0-1. <clears throat> one from Gibson to Martinez, 1-1. One one. Good take. 1-1 one one from Gibson. Two and one, a bit outside. JD, eight home runs, 21 ribbies, but that batting average is really key for him this year. The 360, looking really good for the Dodgers. And who knows what it would look like if he was a starter. 3-1 to <coughs> uh, Martinez, the pay, I mean, no, not the payoff, the 3-1 foul. Now there will be a payoff, excuse me. 3-2. The pitch from Gibson. Will be chopped down to short. One away here in the top of the third. <clears throat> now that will bring up Jason Hayward where they have the same exact stats. 301 average though. Hey bombs and 21 rubies on the year. First pitch to Hayward. Hit down. Third baseman will knock it down the throw. I think that's Arias. Will not come and that should be an infield hit for Jason Hayward which it will be. And now that will bring up David Peralta. He's 0 for 1 with the strikeout. <clears throat> First pitch. Ball 1. The 1 0. The Oriole fans trying to get into this to get the Dodgers offense to spoil this. That hit from Hayward. <clears throat> 1 1 to David Peralta. The pitch from Gibson. Outside, 2-1, and one, just a bit outside. That was a good pitch, though. 2-1. <clears throat> no, 3-1, and one, and James Almond's on deck. 3-1. <clears throat> the pitch from Gibson. 3-2. and two. Hey, Peralta's not afraid to work a cow and take some pitches. The 3-2, Hayward will be off and running. There he goes. The pitch will be inside, and that's going to be hammered down into right field. And Jason Hayward is going to go from first to home. Maybe the throw will be on time. And two away here in the top of the third, and another bad miscue. So far for the Dodgers in the last 24 hours. Just a hit and run. Should have kept Hayward at third. That ball hit off the wall too hard, and Santiago Alcantara 
made a Sandy Alcantara. Uh, Santander made a really good throw. And now that I bring up Outman, he's one for one. Doubled back in his last at bat, and this is hit down to Frazier, and that will end the top of the third. And <clears throat> once again, I'm just kind of sitting here shaking my head at the base running decisions as that will bring up Ryan O'Hara. Pretty sure this is his first major league at bat, or, you know, he's yet to get a hit in the majors. <clears throat> oh, nope. I lied. Six years with the Royals and a few years with the Orioles as that's hit. Nolan will dive. Nolan will get up. Nolan will throw it, and it's going to be on time. What a play from the shortstop, Arenado. <clears throat> wow, what a play. Third baseman playing shortstop today, showing Willie Adamas how it's done. And Mookie Betts. And CT3. We have a lot of shortstops this year. So I'll bring up Frenchie. Cordoner. Cordoner. I don't know. I'm not going to even try. Strike one. No home runs on the year. The one fastball. 0-2. A lot of lefties. In this lineup for the Orioles. The 0-2. Which, they don't get to see a lefty as that's fouled. Barely got fouled. But they don't get to see a lefty till Wednesday with Kershaw on the mound. That's a strikeout, though. Two away here in the bottom of the third. <clears throat> now I'll bring up Adam Frazier. He's 0 for 1. Man. First pitch fastball. Strike 1. Deal 1. I can't believe, like I said yesterday, it's July and I'm sick. This is absolutely ridiculous. 0-2. Circle change. Got him. To end the third inning. All right, Freddie Freeman will lead off the top of the fourth. First pitch to Freddie. Inside ball one. I feel like Freddie, man, I mean, the average is there, but I feel like he doesn't, he hasn't done anything too crazy lately. A lot of swings and misses at low pitches. I'd have a better eye with Freddie, I feel like, to get him consistently hot. The 1-1. One, one. Hit. Frazier. One away here on the top of the fourth. <clears throat> one away, and now that'll bring a Muncie single to back in the second. First pitch from Gibson. Taking low, ball one. Ball one, no strike. The one oh. The one one, two and one. The two one from Gibson. Did he go? Did he go? Yep, two and two. <clears throat> a two two from Gibson to Muncie will be hammered into right. The second single of the day for Max. Now that's I'll bring up Arenado. Oh for one. First pitch from Gibson inside ball one. One out there, Renato. Hit up the middle. That ball will be scooped up from Frazier, though. The throw ball will be off line. Well, really bad in E6. first and now that'll bring up no he'll be at second excuse me and now that'll bring up Vargas he's 0 for 1 first pitch did he go yep 0 and 1 0 and 1 can that error can it cost the Orioles here quickly 0 and 2 to Vargas the 0 2 will be chopped 
uh, the shortstop. Jackson will make the play to end the top half of the fourth. I think that's who their shortstop is. We're in Holiday will lead off the bottom half of the fourth. All for one. First pitch, strike one. Yep, and here's their shortstop, by the way. I was right. The 0 1. Hit into right. Peralta. One away. Dodgers have five hits, no runs, no errors. And the Orioles have one hit, one run, and one error in this ball game. 0 oh, 1. The Dodgers just cannot execute in this ball game so far. I mean, the Jason Hayward hit and run, that was an absolute beauty from David Peralta, but just another miscue from uh, Dino Weevil at third, sending runners home. Well, not a miscue from him, but a miscue from just the running in general. Yesterday, we had a problem with it in New York. Uh, today, we've had a problem with it. Well, one miscue. Um, but we've had a few of those this year, and it's it's been costly. As that will end the fourth. Man, that took a minute to get the outman. Just need to need to be playing smarter baseball. All right, Will Smith will lead off the top half of the fifth. He's over one with the fly out the left. First pitch from Gibson inside for a strike. Going one with the cutter. Go one. One and one, good take. Gibson, man, not, doesn't have velocity, but he does have good location with his pitches. The 1-1. One, one. Did he go? Yep, the 1-2. It's been another tough thing for us today is swinging at pitches like that. I've seen it way too often in this game. 2-2. Two two. <clears throat> 60 pitches, though, here in the top half of the fifth. The 2-2 two, two from Gibson to Smith. Will be a swing and a miss. And a strikeout to start the top half of the fifth. Good pitch from Gibson. And now that will bring up J.D. Martinez. First pitch from Gibson to Martinez. Will be hammered down to third. Uh, Rias with the throw. Two away here in the top half of the fifth. Two quick outs for Gibson and the Orioles. And now that will bring up Jason Hayward. One for one with a single. Had an infield single in his last at bat. And taking the ball here. One and oh. Man, the Reds, they're 14 games back of the NL Central lead. They've been killing it lately, though, and they're playing the they're playing the Giants. 1-1. One, 2-1-1. One. One, one. Two, one from Gibson to Hayward. 2-2 two and two fouls that one off. A 2 2. Will be hammered into left center field. That should be a double for Hayward. And now that'll bring up David Peralta with a runner in scoring position. With two away here in the top half of the fifth. And now, to bring up Peralta. Can he come through and get the Dodgers on the board? First pitch from Gibson. Inside ball one. <clears throat> Peralta knows this is a huge spot for him. 1 0. -oh. 1 and 1. Good sinker right there from Gibson. Made it look like a strike and then it dropped. The 1 1. Uh, 1 and 2. Another good sinker. This time David taking it all the way. 1-2 pitch from Gibson. Hayward at second. Two away here in the top of the fifth. The pitch will be low. Ball will squirt away and Hayward will take third. Not like it really matters though. <laughs> two away. <coughs> I mean, I guess you can say it does because if we hit a single, it scores Hayward. 2-2 two, two. from Gibson. Will be 3-2. and two. What a take. And James Almond's on deck. 3-2 to David Peralta. The payoff pitch. 
will be fouled. That was ball four, and Peralta just got a piece of it. The three two, and he's gonna call time. Trying to get and give Sin's head is the veteran. We got a vet versus vet battle though. The three two will be fouled once again. The next three two. Third payoff pitch to David Peralta. Will be fouled. 3-2 once again. The pitch to Peralta will be chopped back to Gibson. And that will end the top half of the fifth. And the Dodgers do not score. Now they'll bring a badly Rutschman. To lead off the bottom half of the fifth. 36 pitches for Dustin Mays. This is hit down to third. Muncy will knock it down. Throw the first to one away here in the bottom half of the fifth. And that was kind of the same thing with Tony Gonsolin yesterday. He gave up those two runs and then really figured it out to pitch the rest of the game really well. <clears throat> Pound the zone and make the Mets th hit some pitches. And put some balls into play. And I feel like Dustin Mays doing the exact same thing here today. I feel like normally for Dustin May, he's had like 60 pitches, at least like 40 at this point in the game, or, you know, his pitch count sometimes is higher than the inning, as I kind of like throwing 10 pitches per inning, it's always a goal, and so far Dustin May is under that goal, so he's achieving really well, but he just gave up that one run, to, well that one home run to, uh, Falcon San can ah. <coughs> Oh man. Uh Santan Deer Dare. Oh my god. But I'm having a tough I swear I said his name correct the first time. It's not ah oh man, the sickness is killing me. Making the commentary even kinda suck a little as that's hammered in the left. And another hit for James Alman and another hit for the Dodgers. Can they finally do something here? Bring up Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 2. After Freddie, then Muncie. First pitch. Hit. Double play ball. Outman will not get the second to throw. The first will be on time. Two away. And Bro, Freddie Freeman is not seeing the ball well. Now bring up Muncie. He's 2 for 2. First pitch from Gibson. Will be hit. And that will end. Oh, no. That might not end the inning. Throw to first will be on time. In the top half of the sixth. And like four pitches in the top half. I'll bring up Ryan O'Haron. Oh, for one. First pitch from May. Strike one. <clears throat> Gotta be a bit frustrated if you're Dustin May as well. You're seeing your offense get these hits. But they're not putting up any runs. But at the end of the day, Kyle Gibson, man, he's given up a lot of contact. But when he gets into that damage, or when he gets into a jam, he gets out of it every time so far in today's game. And if you're Dustin May, you're, you're kind of wondering that one pitch to... Uh, all, oh man, I can't even remember the name because I want to confuse the guy with Sandy Alcantara. Uh, what's the dude's name again? I want to... Uh, Anthony Santander, yeah, every time, uh, that one pitch to him is the only reason why the Orioles have the lead two away here in the bottom half of the sixth, and I guess this is, this could be a good conversation for Dustin, good conversation for Dustin and Tony Gonsolin to have to, you know, talk about these one pitches that have given up runs when their team, to, you know, when their team is not putting up runs for them, you know, yesterday's game, it took until the ninth to take the lead, and here today we're struggling. Got to be a little bit frustrated if you're Dustin May watching the hits, but no runs on the board. All right, <clears throat> Nolan will lead off the top of the seventh. He's 0 for 2. First pitch low, ball one. But right now it's pretty much one swing from tie and I feel like I've been trying to do that too much. The 1-0. 2-0 to Arenado. 2 0 <clears throat> 81 pitches for Gibson. The 
hit up the middle for a base knock. Eighth hit for the Dodgers. And they do something here in the top half of the seventh with it. top half of the seventh with it. Now that the second baseman, Miguel. I'll bring him Vargas he's over two. First pitch. Outside ball one. Vargas in his last at bat only saw three pitches. One oh. Hit down to third foul. One one to Vargas. The pitch from Gibson. Hit double play ball jammed him. One and two to get the double play. And now that'll bring up Will Smith. First pitch from Gibson to Smith. Ball one. I feel like we've made them work, but we just ain't getting the hits we need tonight. The 1-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Two oh to Will Smith from Gibson. 2-0 oh, foul. 2-1. Terrible pitch to swing at. 2-1. Three and one, and Martinez is on deck. <clears throat> the three one. Hit. Nice play from Holiday to end the top half of the seventh. What a play from the rookie. Right, he has to be a rookie. All right, Holiday will lead off the bottom half of the seventh. Fifty-one pitches for uh, Dustin May. Low pitch count. Orioles have been swinging at everything, but. <clears throat> I feel like Dustin pitch count is pretty low he's had it besides that one cutter to Anthony Santander that's fouled one and two one two fastball inside it'll be a strikeout one away here in the bottom of the seventh it'll probably be Dustin May's last inning Brings up Cedric Mullins. It's over two. Two Ks. First pitch. Popped up. Fouled. Muncie. Wasn't going to go give it a look. No one. Why right, waste the energy when it's going fouled? This is going to be popped. That, no, that's going to be a foul ball. Tries to lay down the bunt. If Mullins lays that down, they get that bunt executed perfectly. But that's a strikeout for May. Two away. In the bottom half of the seventh, and now they'll bring up Anthony Santander. First pitch to Santander. Strike one. <clears throat> one fastball. Inside, one and one to number 25. Obviously, I can say his name when I know what I'm, who I'm talking about. One and two. Alright, the one two to Santander, the slurve will get him. What a pitch from Dustin May. Alright, JD Martinez will lead it off and Gibson man staying out there. 90 pitches for Gibson. First pitch outside, ball one. 25,000. Felix Batista and Darwin's on <laughs> Hernandez warming. 1-0 from Gibson. In the left center field. Fastball right down the middle. That ball will be caught though. And if you're J.D. Martinez, you're kicking yourself. Uh, now bring up Jason Hayward. Double and a single in this ball game. First pitch to Hayward. Hit. And that will be another single. And now that will bring up David Peralta. With the tying run at first. David Peralta gets another shot to try and get a runner in. And they're going to pull Kyle Gibson, man. What a game for Gibson, Rutch, uh, Adley Rutschman. Giving him a fist pump. Loving his performance. The Oriole fans did too. Uh, gave up a lot of hits. Just did not give up any runs. And now they're going to bring in A.J. Punk. A, a 3.60... Uh, 3.60 ERA, 21 games, 
Uh, he has eight saves on the year. And two blowing saves. So I don't know if he's closing this game out. Or just coming out. We're gonna, uh, I was going to say, we're going to call time here. Ball one high. and Hold on, hold on. We're going to... We're gonna bring in Mookie Betts here with a ball. Hitting 256, 26 bombs, 6, 56 RBIs, and the booze kind of rain on Mookie Betts, former Red Sox. The 1-0. 2-1-0. <clears throat> Hayward at first. 2 to Betts. And a right for a base hit, and Hayward will go to second. Not saying that David Peralta couldn't have got that hit there, but I just, you know, I wanted Mookie Betts to come up. He hits lefties very well. He has a better average against lefties than he does righties this year, so I thought maybe something like that would happen, and it did. And start warming up the bullpen, and now it's Reyes. <clears throat> Bring up Bauman, he's two for three. First pitch from Punk. Foul it off, 0-1. Would have been a strike. I kind of wanted to check swing it, but it would have been a strike anyway, the 0-1. To James Altman. 1-1, one one. great take from the rookie center fielder. 1-1, <clears throat> one one, bets will lead. 1-2, one good, 98 mile per hour fastball. Just power versus power right there. The one two from Punk. Outman will be hit, and that's gonna get past the third baseman. Mookie bets to third. Outman to second. And the runner will get home. It's a tie ball game. One one here in the top of the eighth. And uh, the twenty-third double of the year for James Outman. And this game's tied. What a play. I mean what a swing right there from Outman. And if a Rex makes that play, man, there's really nothing much I can do. But James Altman battled, and now the defense will come in for the Orioles. First pitch to Freddie, taking a strike, going one. Freddie's over three, trying to become the hero here to bring in another run for the Dodgers so they could have the lead. <clears throat> the 0 1. 0 and 2, fastball high. Swing and a miss. The 0 2. Pitch from Punk to Fre Freeman. Will be a foul ball. Staying alive is the Dodgers' first baseman. The 0-2 and he's in the call time. <coughs> Excuse me, the 0-2. Pitch from Punk to Freeman. High one and two. Freddy trying to be the one to come through, man. Struggled against the Mets. Struggling here. The one-two from Punk will strike him out. Two-way here on the top of the ace. And now that will bring on Max Muncy. He's two for three. Runners are going to play. I mean, defense are going to play back for the Orioles. First pitch from Punk. The bunt from Muncy will go foul. 0-1. If that stays fair, I think Muncy had a chance to beat that one out. The 0 1 for Punk. 0 and 2, good slider. <clears throat> the 0 2 from Punk will be hammered to right center field. That ball's carrying. That ball is going to be caught to end the top half of the eighth. But we do score one thanks to James Altman and his RBI double. 11 hits, one run on the night. Absolutely crazy. Mookie Betts will go out and right and play the rest of this game. And we're going to bring in the... Oh, man. We're going to let Dustin May pitch this inning. Adley Rutschman will lead it off. He's 0 for 2. First pitch hit up the middle. And that will be a base hit. So the second hit of the night for the Orioles. Come here in the bottom half of the eighth. And now that will bring up Arias. First pitch sinker. Foul it off. Strike one. I will say, man, you have to give a lot of credit to Kyle Gibson tonight and the starting performance he did against he had against this Dodgers lineup. Yes, he gave up the hits, 
he worked out of the jams, which Punk wasn't able to. And uh, Dodgers tied the ball game, and I feel like the good game from Gibson goes away. One, two. The cutter got him. One away here in the bottom of the eighth. <clears throat> now that will bring up Austin Hayes. All for one. First pitch from May. The fastball will be a strike of one. A 98. Zero one. The slur. Bowen two. Zero two fastball to Hayes will be right down the middle but fouled. Right, the O2 sinker inside. Got him. Two away here in the bottom half of the eighth. <clears throat> and now they're going to bring out Ryan Mountcastle hitting 241, 13 bombs, 38 RBIs. Man, that was kind of cool that they called a pitch hit. I mean, I feel like you never see that from the CPU, so that was cool. First pitch taking the strike, 0 and 1. This will definitely be Dustin May's last inning. The 0 1 sinker, 0 and 2. <clears throat> The 0 2. The slurs. We'll strike him out looking then the 8th. Man, that pitch was filthy. I mean, it was right down the middle where it ended. Where the ball, you know, ended in Will Smith's glove. But <clears throat> it looked like it was going to be a ball all the way. They're going to bring out Ryan Matt Castle to play first. And now they're going to bring in Kyle Bradish. Uh, the pitch, the top of the ninth, a 3.19 ERA. This is his 27th game, and Nolan Arenado will greet him. Arenado, one for three. Bradish with his first pitch to Arenado. Will be low ball, one at 94 at the knees. 2-1-0. 2-1-0 from Bradish. Well, now it's 2-0. Now the 2-0 from Bradish to Arenado. High 3-0. 98. Well, okay. I see you, Mr. Bradish. Went from 94 to 98. 3-0 to Arenado. Hand to left. That ball's carrying. That ball's going to be off the wall. That'll be a double for Arenado to lead off the top half of the ninth. He's kind of sitting on a heater right there, expecting it with a 3-0 pitch. And he gets his 18th double of the year. And now that will bring up Vargas. Vargas has been struggling tonight. He's 0 for 3. See what he can do here. First pitch to Vargas. High ball one. <coughs> Vargas hitting <coughs> 290. 1-0. Oh, what a 12-6, one and one. That was filthy. The one one from Kyle Bradish to Miguel Vargas. Arenado has second. Will be hit down to third. And two away here, and no, one away here in the top of the ninth. And Vargas man is definitely going to be excited to have tomorrow off after this game. I'll bring up Smith, he's 0 for 3. First pitch, hit into right, but fouled. On deck, J.D. Martinez. 0-1. One. 1-1. One one. I feel like Will has to be the guy to come through here. We're going to get Evan Phillips going in the Dodgers bullpen as well. 1-1. One, one. Bradish to Smith. In the left. That ball will drop. Arenado's around third. The throw home will not be on time offline. It's a 2-1 ball game as Arenado scores in an RBI single from Will Smith. I didn't think that Will Smith, I mean, I didn't think Arenado would have got home there. If there was a better throw, he's out. But just a little bit offline and... Arenado comes home to score to make it a 2-1 ball game, Dodgers. So that's hammered to right, and there, and now here we go. J.D. Martinez 
with a double. Will Smith will stop at third. And now that will bring up Jason Hayward with runners at second and third. 13th double of the year for Martinez. <clears throat> bring up Hayward, three for three tonight. Two singles and a double. First pitch hit. That will sneak through and <clears throat> it's a 3-1 ball game now. Third single of the night for Hayward will score a run at the 3-1 game. And now they're going to bring in Colonel Perez. Does not have an ERA and Mookie Betts will greet him. None of these runs will count if they score unless Mookie Betts hits a home run. Against Perez. First pitch swung on and missed 0-1. Perez trying to keep the Orioles in this ball game. The 0 one Hayward. Man, that was a... Oh my gosh, that was a terrible idea. <clears throat> oh man, the throw home will be on time. All right. I tried like a double steal type thing. It didn't work. We tried. All right, we're going to bring out Evan Phillips. Trying to close this game. This is his 35th game. 24 saves, 3 blown saves. 38 innings, 45 strikeouts. Two walks and a 2.61 ERA. The ERA has been interesting for him all year. First pitch to Cordero. Yeah, that's what it is, Cordero. First pitch heater. Hit into left. Hayward will not get there, but he'll give it a look. 0-1. Oh, Cordero. Oh, oh for 2. 0-1 slider. 1-1. One Evan Phillips is on the league leaders and saves this year. The 1-1. One, one. Sinker, 2-1. Probably could have used another day off <clears throat> coming into this one. Pitched a lot in New York. The 2-1 fouled. So probably going to pitch this game and have tomorrow off. The 2-2 two, two slider. 3-2. Two and Adam Frazier's on deck. The 3 2 sinker hit into right field for a base hit, and the tying run will come on against Evan Phillips. In Adam Frazier, who has yet to hit a home run all year. <clears throat> First pitch to Frazier. Phillips with the sinker. Hit the Muncie. Throw bad to Vargas. And all the runners will be safe. A bad throw from Max Muncy in E5. Now they'll bring up Jackson. They're going to make the defense play straight up. They're saying sacrifice bunt. First pitch, that's exactly what it is. We're going to go second. And get one of the lead runners. One away here in the bottom of the ninth. Good speed at first though. And now that will bring up Cedric Mullins. He's 0 for 3. Three strikeouts against May. He's happy to see May out. First pitch from Phillips. Cutter strike. 0 and 1. <clears throat> 0 and 1 sinker. I mean slider. Hit double play ball. Freeman to Arenado. Back to Freeman to end this game. And the Dodgers win 3-1. With Dustin May getting a win. What a crazy game, man. Just like yesterday, it was not easy to beat the Orioles. And tomorrow we'll have Noah Syndergaard on the mound, which kind of feels like a relaxing day for the Dodgers bullpen. Or not for the Dodgers bullpen, but like kind of an, an easy game tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, Syndergaard pitches really well. I mean, Dustin May pitched well. Sorry about that, guys. May ended up giving up that run early. Dodgers offense took forever to get a run themselves. So this game felt a little tougher than it needed to be, but we ended up getting the win. Uh, late rally hero heroics again, just like yesterday in New York. So, I mean, it wasn't the easiest game, but we got the W. 15 hits and three runs. That's, that's the thing that I can't stand. 15 hits and only three runs. Like, if we put up seven runs with 15, I'm happy. But we only, we only put up three. Uh, Dustin May gets the win. He's the player of the game. 14 strikeouts, two walks, eight innings, and one earned run. 
uh, Kyle Bradish gets the L. Uh, and uh, what a what an incredible start for Kyle Gibson. Kind of kind of sucked to see him uh, lose that win because you know his record's four and seven on the year and just unfortunately it, it didn't work the way he wanted it to. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with Noah Syndergaard on the mound. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow, but I'll see y'all.